Clouds, let's start there, shall we? There they are, mostly cloudy skies in North Texas. The showers and storms stayed in just north of the Red River today. They'll, they'll kind of creep down into North Texas as we go through not only the day tomorrow, but certainly the overnight uh, tomorrow into early Monday. This is a very slow moving front, okay? So it's not gonna blast in here and bring widespread severe thunderstorms. There, some storms could be strong, maybe severe, but just watch how slowly this moves in. So if you have plans tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., Metroplex is dry. The rain is out toward Wichita Falls, maybe as close as Graham uh, down through Abilene. See the front progression through noon. It doesn't move very much. It's still kind of in the same area, but there may be rain as soon as noon in Gainesville, certainly through Graham at this point. Dallas Fort Worth area may be a spotty shower or two. The widespread stuff won't arrive until tomorrow night. So even three o'clock, there still may be a stray shower ahead of this front, but the bulk of the heavy rain, which will be consistent through most of the day, will be in Cook County, Montague County, down through Jack, Parker, Wise, Palo Pinto, Young Counties. Uh, then five o'clock through, let's say eight o'clock, starts to move in closer. So let's Denton County at this point, seeing some of the heavier rain by 8 p.m. By 10, it's moving into Collin County and Tarrant County. And there's midnight, widespread showers and thunderstorms for the Metroplex at midnight and even into the early morning hours of Monday. So how the severe weather risk, let's talk about that. It's not very good, uh, up to quarter size hail, a wind gust report of 60 plus. Uh, not out of the question, but because of how slow this is moving, the time it arrives, the severe threat really, really does look pretty low for North Texas. I wouldn't expect it to get up to any more than this marginal risk that we have uh, on, through tomorrow. So take a look at this. Can you tell where the rain's going to be? These are your highs on Sunday, low to mid 80s in the Metroplex. But look, this is the bullseye of where the rain will be for the afternoon and into the evening, where temperatures will struggle through the 60s in the afternoon and evening. And there you go. There's your rain coverage. Highest off to the northwest. Again, this is before 7 p.m. It's a very sharp cutoff. You're not going to see rain through the day tomorrow in areas like Waxahachie, Canton, and Mineola, and up to Greenville. It will be tomorrow night and overnight into Monday. That's when the you have that 100% coverage. This is midnight Monday going to 3 o'clock in the morning. Still some pretty widespread rain in North Texas, maybe even into the morning commute. So there's 7 a.m. Some showers and storms still possible for the Dallas Fort Worth area before it comes to an end by the afternoon. One to two inches of rain for the Metroplex. There will be isolated lower totals and there could be three inch plus amounts, especially in areas like Bowie, Gainesville over to Decatur. We all need the rain. At least we're going to get some. Not a drought buster, but a drought denter. Denter, 68 degrees. Did I say it right? Yeah, breezy and muggy. It may not be a word. It's okay, 82 degrees. Rainstorm, still breezy. There's the next 10 days. Uh, we'll have temperatures in the 60s uh, on Monday, Tuesday, 74, 79 on Wednesday. Look at that. The first day of May, Matt Howerton. Wow. That's on Sunday. That's on Sunday? Sunday. April has just flown by, has it not? It has. E